back, please. Um, if my research is correct, I believe your last loss was in March of 2012 in the NIT when Stanford beat Illinois State. <laughs> my question is, um, do you tell your team the same thing after a win or a loss? And if not, do you even remember what it's like after a loss? Well, thank you for uh, picking up my spirits there. I appreciate that very much. Uh, that was very nice of you. It, it, has, it has been a while. Thank you. Um, well, uh, it, yeah, I did forget a little bit, but, uh, you know, in college basketball, it doesn't let you forget real long. College basketball can be very cruel, uh, even when you have a heck of a team. And to me, what you say after a loss is, is always different. I think it's, I don't like the stereotypical, hey, we lost, so you guys are a bunch of so-and-sos, and, you know, you're a bunch of this, and you're a bunch of that. I, I'm not, I don't subscribe to that. I try to, I try to see it for what it was, and I think the first thing that I saw was Michigan played about as good a game as, as anyone has played against us in over four and change years. I thought they were just absolutely outstanding. I did. I thought everything they tried to do, including hit a number of guarded shots, um, you know, it, it was incredible. I thought, they, I thought they were terrific. Could not say enough great things about their team. I don't know if this is what they're, how they're going to play most of the time. If it is, they're going to make up. They're going to, they're going to have one heck of a year. Um, was it just their night? I don't know. It's four games into the season. But what I will say, they were outstanding. Second thing is I look at, you know, are you guys out there fighting and scratching? I look at something like this. Everything's going wrong, you know, offensively. And we're trying to drive the ball to the basket and, you know, we're not, we're not getting calls. I'm not saying we should have. I, I don't know. I'm at the other end. But all I know is things are going poorly. Um, the score is going poorly, and our guys end up with 18 offensive rebounds. So, so I see a team that scratches and fights, and they're trying to defend. I felt like we were a step slow tonight for whatever reason, not because we weren't ready to play, but uh, who knows what, what the night before takes toll on some. Um, but what I said to our guy, I think we could be an outstanding team. Tonight was not an outstanding game, and I believe that when that you you've always got to turn negatives into positive and learn from from particularly the rough things that happen to you. This is the first time you guys have lost by double digits in two years, so it's a pretty unfamiliar place for you. What's kind of the, the feeling of after being in almost a, such a strange spot for from you and the team? Well, I don't really. To me, I don't. I think you either win or you lose. I I, I don't. I just. That's the way I look at it. I don't think the number of points is, is all that significant. You play to win, and when you don't win, you lose. And there's just, it's black and white. And half the teams in the country live every, lose every night, and half of them win. And I don't care what the scores are. Um, this was a loss. The better team won tonight. And uh, I take my hat off to them. Thank you, Coach. I get granted small sample size. Semi's average almost 43 points a game. Get 13 tonight. What did Michigan do well to contain them? Uh, you know, I think what what they did well, and we did poorly all at the same time. I thought they really did a good job of taking us out of our rhythm. Uh, we never could, you know, the, the, almost every single time out, all we were talking about was try to get second and third side and get the ball moving and getting it flowing. But but honestly, I give them credit. They uh, they took us out of some things and and. Uh, you know, we didn't have that as well as, as we need to, and, and uh, that's one of the positives of the game. I'm glad that part happened. It's going to happen again. You've got to learn to play through that. But, you know, Shimmy's going to, he's going to get a crowd, too. He's going to get a lot of people uh, scouting him, it's, and, and he's an outstanding player. And if you look at anyone in the country, it's hard for anyone to have a huge night each and every night. And uh, I know he's going to have a lot of really big nights for us. but. From an offensive standpoint, we never really could get going, um, not for lack of effort, just uh, you know, could not could not get in flow. And then uh, didn't have a good shooting night, didn't have a good free throw shooting night, and a lot of things weren't going very well for us. And at the same time, uh, I thought they hit some amazing shots. Right here, you said you were a step slow defensively. Well, I mean, was that really more noticeable every time you tried to defend Derek Wall? Uh, you know, look, if you think of the game, it, it started out, he hit, what, three deep threes. I have to go look at the film. It didn't look like to me he was towing up the line with nobody guard. It looked to me like he was shooting over a hand from distance. 
uh, one of them I know he was shooting over six eight, and uh, I just thought he played with an amazing amount of confidence. I mean, his I mean, we could tell in two strokes that he's you know he's got his game on tonight. Uh, I don't get to see him play all that much. I don't know if that's common every night stuff for him, but I know one thing: he was he was darn good tonight. Was there anything about the Michigan offense that was particularly hard to guard? They only had four turnovers. Was it just the tough shots? Or was it no, you know, the, well, Michigan, we, we played them last year. You know, I, I was uh, in, uh, coaching that game. We played them last year. We had several days to prepare. And uh, you're thankful when you can because it is a very well thought out, uh, intricate offense that, that this year I can tell you for sure they have the right pieces for. Um, every offense needs the right pieces. You've got to show you some great offenses and they don't work worth a damn when you don't have the right guys. But the team I saw tonight, and it's the first time I'd watched them, we were, we were scouting Pittsburgh. I literally watched them for the first time late last night. So I don't know, but I do know the Michigan offense from last year when we played them. And uh, you know, you have three days to prepare and even then it's still very tough. But I, I, I uh, have a lot of respect for it. Uh, it, it presents a lot of problems. They recruit a lot of shooters spread around a big guy, but it's not that simple. There's a lot more to it. It's very well thought out. Not a team you want to play on no preparation days, and, and uh, you know, I, I really respect that. Far back, and then I'll get to you. Okay. Are there any lessons in particular you can learn from a game like this, or is it one you kind of just forget about and move on? Just kind of no, I don't, I don't think you want to forget. I don't think you want to just go, hey, don't worry about that. Well, I don't think I'd ever want to do that when you get beat. I think it's got to be some darn less. I can't, I can't feel how you can just ever go, you know, don't, guys, don't worry about that. We'll go get them the next time. I mean, uh, I think you learn the most when you're in pain. I think you change the most when you're in pain. I think when something hurts, that's when you make changes. And, and when everything's going great, uh, sometimes, particularly college players, you know, my experience has been, they can get a little bit complacent and they can get to feeling like, you know, it's going to be a little easy. Hey, we're, we're pretty darn good. And the truth of college basketball is there's not many easy nights. I don't care if you've heard of the school or not. There's a lot of teams out there that are hungry. And on their given night, they may have an edge to them because they just came off, off a loss and they're dug in. They're cut into attention to detail and all those kind of things. So uh, I, I think you got to address it. I think. I think our team, look at our team, we got four guys, we got four returning players, four guys that played last year, that's it, that's our whole experience. We got two guys that sat out, they're getting their feet wet, we got three freshmen, we got nine guys, that's the whole team. I mean, of course we've got to learn. We've, we've got to learn, I don't care what, we've got to learn at halftime. We've got to learn how to do halftime better. We've got, we got to learn how to do water better. Um, we're, we're a work in progress, for sure, and so, we're not going to pass up a chance. I don't care what happens. Winning by 27, losing by whatever, overtime game, I don't care what. We need to learn lessons if we're going to get better and grow as a team by the year's end. All right, last question right here. Coach. You uh, talked yesterday about how hard of a worker Chemi is. I'm just wondering what you expect to see from him over the next few days after an hour. Uh, he'll be up early tomorrow. He'll be, you know, begging a manager to go shoot for him for several hours and then he'll work on his body and then he'll eat correctly and then he'll go back to the gym and we'll have to tell him, no, hey, you need to rest today. But you know what, he's not the only one. I, I don't want to make it out of that. That's the thing I love about this team. You know, there's a bunch of guys now that, that 